CNN just had their big climate change town hall. They had all the Democrat presidential candidates up there talking about their plans, how much they'd cost, and the changes we need to make. We gotta do this now. We gotta do it now. Tick tock on the clock. Time is running out, America. Well, I have questions. I have some big questions, and I'm sure you do too. Hey, everybody, it's Michael from the Loftus Party. I'm back from New York, back in Los Angeles, city of sunshine, city of angels, city of the paper straw, the city of the syringes on the street, city of, of homeless wackadoodles. Okay. I watched the town hall, uh, and, and I got questions. So it, it comes down to this. They're pretty much, they're all kind of saying the same thing. Uh, we, we probably should go vegan right away. That's, that's a big one. Probably go, go vegan. Uh, gotta get off the fossil fuels. Gotta, gotta, no more fracking. That's bad. Get rid of that. Uh, uh, we gotta go solar. Uh, uh, we can no more coal, none of that stuff. Solar, wind, uh, no more. It's, that's big changes. We got to do it now. We got to do this now because the future of the planet. Here is my question. What does the rest of the world have to do? Is Ch is anybody going to talk to China? Do any of these presidential candidates ha have, a, have a plan to talk to China? Because let me tell you what. When you're looking at the big polluters on the planet, it ain't the U.S. of A. anymore. It's China who leads the world in CO2. China does. China does. They took the lead in 2006. China did. China did. I don't see them slowing down. And if you want to talk about plastic in the ocean, that's a big concern of mine. You know that the 90% of the plastic in the ocean comes out of 10 rivers. 10 of them. Eight of them are in Asia. So what's China going to do? If I have to live my life, if I have to go vegan uh, and not have enough power because there's just not enough solar and wind. Solar and wind, don't even, it's sad. I wish solar and wind was the solution. I really do. It'd be cool. I love Star Trek. I wish it would work. But, but the, with the batteries and solar and cadmium and the mining and you got to get that from, you got to get it from China. <laughs> and so anyway, it, that's a problem. And the wind turbines, those are uh, big time bird choppers. You know that. And here's, here's a fun to know fact. It's actually a bit depressing. Those, those big giant fans, the, the big turbine, the, the, the fan thing, you have to replace those like every 10 to 20 years. And, and, and you can't recycle them. You can't because they're fiberglass and they take up too much space. You can't. If there was ever one product that should be made out of completely recycled plastic, you think it'd be wind turbines. Can we get on that? Can we get on that? But let's, let's just say we make all these changes. Let's say we do it. Let's say all of America, no more fossil fuels, uh, we, no more CO2, we're completely clean, we're all just sitting around in the dark sucking out of straws. It would not affect the Earth's temperature. It's so small. The effect is so small, science says they can't even measure it. Because because China and India are doing that much uh, bad stuff. It's crazy. It's like we're in America. We're having town halls. We're, and we're, and we, we're all arguing because there's water in the basement, right? Like, you know, oh, grab a mop, grab a mop. The water's coming in. And we're all like mopping like crazy. Meanwhile, China and Asia are just sitting in the corner with fire hydrants open, just <clears throat> completely flooding. And we're like, we should use different mops. We should use green mops. If it's this dire... If it's this bad, you would think one of these candidates, one of them would say, and I'm going to talk to China, and I'm going to talk to India. If we've only got like X amount of years on the planet, and it's got to be like World War II, for the love of God, somebody talk to India, and somebody talk to China. <laughs> right? This is the future of the planet we're talking about. This is what makes me question the whole thing. Like, seriously. If I have to sit around in the dark eating my uh, vegan protein slop lab grown food out of a paper straw that starts to disintegrate the instant I put my lips on it, then by God, they got to do that in China too. They got to do it in India too. If my life is going to be garbage, their life is going to be garbage. So that's my big question. You put forward your plan for America. But what do these other countries have to do? Boom!